welcome back to the Home Library Collection. This video is an unboxing of my first delivery from this year's summer collection from the Folio Society. There are only three books in this delivery, but I'm really excited about all of them. Before I start, I just want to say that I'm currently away from home, and so I apologise if you notice that this video is not quite at the same quality as some of the others. And it's also a good opportunity to say thank you for all the support I've received since starting this channel. I really enjoy making these videos, and I'm glad that you seem to be enjoying them. All deliveries are currently being shipped with the newest edition of Folio magazine, and some are shipped with a free notebook. The notebook is styled after the recent limited edition of the complete short stories of Philip K. Dick and has clear pages. There is some branding on the first few pages on the inside, as well as on the back cover. It's definitely a nice edition. The first book is one of Stephen King's most famous novels, Misery. It comes with a plain black slipcase and is bound in cloth with a blocked cover design by Edward Kinsella. It has printed end papers and further illustrations by Kinsella. There are some really creative choices with the typeface in this production. The main text is printed in Maxine, but type echo is used for excerpts of Paul Sheldon's book written on a typewriter. This edition is in keeping with the folio edition of The Shining, which is also illustrated by Kinsella, and so the two look great together. The next book is Long Walk to Freedom, an autobiography by Nelson Mandela. It details his childhood and the activism that led to his almost three decade long imprisonment, and then on his work to unify South Africa following his release. Mandela is an extraordinary man and his efforts have had a lasting impact, not just in South Africa, but for the wider world. It is really clear that a great amount of thought has gone into every decision, and so it's one of the nicest folio editions I now own. It features a blocked yellow slipcase, which is not only sturdier than the standard slipcases, but is also coloured black on the inside. A small detail, but one that I really appreciate, as I think it really adds to the overall quality. The cover has blocked text and a printed design of an anti-apartheid poster by David King. The end papers are printed with a map of South Africa, beautifully lined in metallic ink, and there are 40 full pages of photographs throughout the text. Everything about this edition is high quality, even the weight of the paper seems to me to be greater than the usual for Abbey Wove. The final book is the big release for this summer collection, Everest, written exclusively for the Folio Society by Peter Gilman. Even in the slipcase, this book is stunning. The blue slipcase features an incredible photograph of the mountain, glued onto the paper and bordered with silver ink. 
It has curved edges at the opening and is very sturdy as it needs to be to support the weight of the two books inside. The two volumes cover the history of expeditions on the slopes of Mount Everest from 1921 to 1953. The first with incredible photographs and the second with gripping first-hand accounts. The books are bound in cloth, printed with a stunning edge-to-edge -edge photograph and have silver page tops to protect from dust and plain blue end papers. The smaller volume is an incredible insight into the minds of some of the most determined people in history, such men as Mallory and Hillary, and also into the often unexpected challenges that can arise during expeditions in such inhospitable surroundings. It also features two double-page maps, which are both beautiful and incredibly helpful when reading the accounts. The larger volume is a treasure trove of incredible photographs, not only of the mountain, but also of the people involved, from the expedition team to the locals. The photographs were selected by Gilman from the archives of the Royal Geographical Society, and he accompanies them with enlightening captions. I don't believe anyone could fail to be blown away by the images, one could easily lose hours taking them in. They're printed in exceptional detail, and there are two breathtaking panoramas which fold out. Unsurprisingly, because of the dominance of photographs over text in this volume, different paper is used to that in the first volume, with qualities more akin to those of photographic paper. For anyone interested in exploration, nature, photography, or the limits of human endurance, this book cannot easily be overlooked, and it certainly takes a special place in my collection. Three books in this video could easily stand alone as incredible examples of the work that the Folio Society do, and so I'm very looking forward to picking up the rest of the summer collection. I'd be really interested to know which of the new releases have caught your eye, and please let me know if you'd like me to make a video on any of them. In the meantime, if you were considering any of these books, I can highly recommend all three.